Hi loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamara, but you can call me Tam. If you are new here, you should definitely consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello. And thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the fragrance mist that I plan on using going into fall. Now I know that Bath & Body Works has brought out a lot of new fall scents, but nothing is really catching my eye. Nothing is really um pretty much calling me out, making me feel like I need to go to the store and pick it up. So with that being said, I thought I would go into my collection and show you guys what I'll be wearing this fall. I have a lot of options to choose from already in my collection. So I feel like I'm pretty good for now going into fall. So I won't be going into the store soon. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me rambling. So if you guys want to see my fall lineup, make sure you keep watching. All right, so the first scent I have here, I am so excited to wear going into fall. And it's actually a scent that Bath & Body Works brought back out, but I have last year's packaging and I think it's so cute. And this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. This is one I absolutely love. This is the first pumpkin scent I have ever tried. And... I love it. I love it. And the reason why I love this one is because you get that marshmallow note, you get the pumpkin note latte, but it's not a lot of cinnamon in this fragrance. I do not like cinnamon in fragrances like the sugar snickerdoodle, all of that. I tried it, but I'm just not a cinnamon spicy fragrance type of girl. And this is not a spicy scent at all. It has just a hint, a hint of cinnamon, but not much. And that's the only reason why I can love this scent. It's the only pumpkin scent that I have. I bought it last year. And as y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but I have it a dent in it down to here. So I'm so excited to pull this one back out for fall. If you don't have it already, go to Bath & Body Works and pick it up. The next one that I have already been wearing recently and I will wear going into fall and winter as well is Strawberry Pound Cake. Bath & Body Works has this one in store right now. Also, I plan on getting another body cream to Strawberry Pound Cake because I'm almost out of the one I have. But yep, Strawberry Pound Cake, she has been around for a while. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So yeah, I don't have to say too much about her. We already know who she is. But another one I'm so excited to pull out for fall is Sensual Amber. And the fragrance notes to this scent are Golden Amber, Wild Berries, Orange Flower, Lotus Petals, and Creamy Sandalwood. My husband loves this one. I'm not, I really wasn't a fan of it when I first picked it up, but I am growing to love it the more that I have it, but I'll be pulling it out this fall because I feel like this is more of a fall, winter type scent. So yeah, kind of a cozy scent. That's Sensual Amber. The next one I'll be pulling out is another cult favorite, and this is Fairy Tale. I'm so excited to wear Fairy Tale. Like, I love this. I picked it up at the Winter SAS, and I wore this at the beginning of this year, like January, February. I really pretty much wore this up until spring. I'm ready for the weather to cool down so I can pull my girl back out. We all know and love Fairy Tale. Are y'all going to be using Fairy Tale this fall? I know I'm not the only one excited to pick her back up. Okay, and the next one I have here is one I don't hear too much talk about. I have been wearing it recently, and I know I'm going to put a D in it this fall season. And this is Gingham Heart of Gold. Now, what this smells like to me is a green, crisp apple with a little bit of vanilla and some sandalwood. This is exactly what this smells like. This gives me everyday fall vibes like going to Walmart, going to work, nothing special, just something to splash on and smell good. So Gingham Heart of Gold, I'll be pulling her out. All right. I have three more fragrance mints to show you guys. So the next one that I'm so excited to start back wearing now that the weather has cooled off is Dark Kiss. Um, some people say this is a nighttime scent, but honey, I will wear this in the day. In the winter and fall season, I'll wear this day, 
night. I don't care. It is just a sexy scent to me. It smells so good. Like Dark Kiss is a good one. So if you have a Dark Kiss girl, go ahead and pull her out. Pull her to the front of your collection. The weather is cooling down. It's time to pull her back out. All right, and this next one here is one that I don't hear too much talk about, but I'm so excited to pull it out this um, fall because of the perfume I have. And this one is Chocolate Covered Cherry by Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. I think it's a sexy scent as well. It's definitely gourmand, but I'm so excited to pull it out and pair it with my Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl Glam because this is a cherry perfume and it's also a nutty perfume and I just feel like the milk chocolate and the cherry note in this is just going to round it out and it's just going to be something beautiful. I haven't layered them together yet, but yeah, this fall season... I would definitely, I feel like this is one I'm going to be wearing in the fall and winter as well. So, yep. All right. And the last fragrance mist I'm going to be pulling out for the fall. And this one will also go on over into winter is Fireside Flurries. I just can't see this on a fall night going out or either like just a date night, something like that. This just gives me cold weather vibes. But it also smells like fall as well. Like you don't have to wait till the winter to pull it out. It's going to perform well in the fall. And the notes are toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. Absolutely love it. I put a dent in this last year, y'all. I put a real good dent in this last year. So, yep, I'm excited to pull her back out. And the last one I have here is um, Snowflakes and Cashmere. I don't have the fragrance mist to this, and I like the scent, but I don't like it enough to go back and get the fragrance mist. So I'll be layering this with like um, Fairy Tale or Sensual Amber because those are two fragrance mists I don't have the body creams to. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer it with this one. And the fragrance notes with this are Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. So I feel like it's gonna layer perfectly with either one of those. All right, love. So those are the fragrance mists that I'm excited to go ahead and use transitioning into fall. Let me know, have you been to the store? Are you getting the new scents out at Bath & Body Works or are you feeling like me content with what you have? Like I have some stuff already at home that's gonna get me through the fall. Uh, leave me a comment below and just let me know. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next one. Peace.